Currently, China is importing 60% of iron from Hermos, Qatar via the sea route going through the state of Malacca to Beijing. This is totally 12,900 kilometers. But if they want to go to the West China, 4,000 kilometers is further distance. So whatever route of CPAC is decided, it is at least 13 to 14,000 kilometers shorter than the current situation. Next. This was the budget of the CPAC presented by the Planning Commission of Pakistan and the Planning Minister. And they were, this was the initial budget, which rose to $62 billion as mentioned by our friend. And this was their wishful thinking that $500 billion investment will come to Pakistan. Next. For CPAC, the China understood that there are two prerequisites to be completed. Number one, Pakistan should have an uninterrupted supply of electricity and for that $34 billion were earmarked. The second was that Pakistan should have uninterrupted supply of gas for that $2.5 billion were earmarked. And then Pakistan should have upgraded transmission system of electricity for which $2 billion were earmarked. Let's see what happens. Let's show. These were the components I discussed it. The island gas pipelines, fiber optic cable, railway line, motor way were supposed to go in one way. They, this was not possible that uh, one will go through this way and the other will go through this way. Fiber optic cable was for what? This was for, for visualization of the CPAC. CPAC was supposed to be audioly and videoly visualized corridor. Next. The issue between among us was the route and it got changed. This is Kashgar, the capital of Xinjiang, Xinjiang or Xinjiang, whatever you pronounce it. From here, the Kari road goes to Pakistan. This is Girgit Baltistan, rightly mentioned by our friend. It's not constitutional part of Pakistan yet, but anyway. This is Gilgit, this is Pashtun Khan, our friends. I am Pashtun Afghan. I am from Peshawar from Khyber Pashtun Khan. Then it, this, is, this was the natural route. Then Balochistan reaching to Kabai. So the point is between here and there. China is sponsoring what? To get benefit from Gawada, the port, the seaport. This is the deep seaport, the only deep seaport of Pakistan and in, in the region. This was the route China preferred it because Number one, it was shorter. The minimum difference between this route and this route is 600 kilometers. So on one way, 600 kilometers, one shorter, and, and if you go both ways, so the difference is 1,200 kilometers. This is the minimum distance, which we, uh, I mean, the planning commission was insisting. Second thing was that it is free from fog and flood. Well, this is this area. And this route is interrupted due to fog, as Junaid knows, and in the summer in January, and this area due to floods in the monsoon. It was nearest to Central Asia. It was supposed to be a cluster corridor. This was going through the richest mineral resource, and this was uh, hanging. I mean, away from India as Pakistan, you really think that something, what, whatever they decide, they, 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 they think they are on India perspective. So this was away from India, safer, and this was nearest to India, this is India. Anyway, the, the federal government changed this original route. Clandestinely, even not accepting today that it has been changed, but it, it got changed. Let's see how. This is about the motorway of the CPAC. Next. The railway of Sikha. Next. How it got changed? This was the railway of the CPAC, as you said, uh, saw in the previous, it is almost a straight line. Well, this is totally a curved line and very lengthy. And this is very short. And five surveys were conducted. Initially, Pakistan Railway, three surveys by Japan, 
one survey by China in, 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 in 1998, way before CPAC, I'm recommending that we should have a Western Railway. China then preferred the same route for railway as well, as was the modern, as you had seen in the previous map. But the federal government rejected this as well. Next, the irony of Pashtun doesn't start here, neither it stops here. We can compare the railway of Pashtuns, Pashtun area, in British Indian time and now. Let's see. So this was the railway road which has been changed, and that, that would have been the straighter one. This has been changed now, again, like motorway to Lahore. This is Lahore, this is Tawa, this is Multan, this is Sakkar, and going down. Next. Railway in India. Can you, can you see this color, please? The, the, the person on the last. Can you see this color? This is blue line shows the current railway. This blue line shows the railway which was in Pashtun area in British era time, but doesn't exist anymore. Next. You can see it in the same diagram. This is the, the, the table of Pakistan railway, not, not of China, not of, not of India. Here you can see the light maroon color. Can you see it? This was the railway of Pashtun area, 612 kilometer before 1947. And do you know what's this situation now? 75 kilometer. All the, this light brown area of railway has been deleted, destroyed, removed, everything. While in Punjab, the net of railway has been constructed. Our agony doesn't stop here. Have a look at Balochistan. Let's go there. This is Karachi, Sindh. This was Punjab. This was Khyber Pusukha, going to Balochistan. This is Quetta. This was British era railway, and still British era railway, from Karachi to this area, going to Quetta, from there to Afghan, to Iran. And there were two other ways, one going to Ch Chaman, and the other going to uh, Joh. Both these links are no more. This were, these are also Pashtun area. So the railway of Pashtun, totally deleted. Next. This was about the route. Motorway gun, railway gun. Now let's see about the power project. 34 billion dollars. 34 billion dollars to have electricity of 17,000 megawatt in Pakistan. So what are the projects? All these projects are on Punjab route. Not a single project on our route. You may not be able to see it. If, can we zoom it a bit? Yeah, just, just have a look and then see, but I, I, I can do it, yeah. I mean, all these are on, on, on Eastern route, or New route, or the clandestine route, which, has, which, which never exists. I mean, we should not have existed. Next. Yeah, this project, $34 billion were allotted to particular people. Who were they? Not a single person from Gilgit, not a single industrialist from Khyber Pirtumkha, not a single one from Balochistan, not a single, only, only one from Karachi. All to the ruling elites of Punjab. And I have named the names. If you go to the, to the website of the CPEC, you will find the name of the companies but I have named the names who they are. These are the names. Next. Liquefied natural gas. As we mentioned before, Pakistan was deficit in gas, so $2.5 billion were given to this part. See, this is Google Map. Where it's going? From Gavadar to Punjab. That's all. Next. So what we are getting, what Gilgit Baltistan is getting? Gilgit Baltistan is part of Kashmir and that is not a constitutional part yet. And if Pakistani wanted to please them, that should have been developed, they would have been more 
I didn't appreciate, uh, they would have appreciated. Gilgit is getting only one power project that has not started yet, and so 1.13% of the total expenditure of CPEC paid now. What FATA, federally administered travel area, is getting? Zero. What Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is getting? 1.41%. What Balochistan is getting? Nothing. Except connecting Gawadar with Punjab. What is the share of Punjab? What is the investment? The total is $62 billion. How much is invested in Punjab? 80.4%. Where goes the remaining 17.07% to connect Punjab with Gawadar, to connect Punjab with China through Shahra Karakulum, through Karakulum Highway. Next. The transmission system. Pakistan is having a very primitive electricity. The transmission system was supposed to be upgraded $2 billion for that. The whole sum $2 billion was spent on Punjab one promise. Between Faslabad and Lahore. So, what Baloch is getting, I'm not talking about myself, not what, talking about Gilgit Bilkistan as well. What, what, what Baloch is getting? This is the map by Chinese, in, mentioned in Chinese books, CPAC, everywhere. This is Gawadar, these are its roots. I don't want to waste your time. This, this is the last point. Uh, Baloch, there is no connection of Baloch people with Gawadar. Can you imagine? If, if London is having a port and the people of London are not allowed to go there, can you imagine this? The same is happening with Baloch in Gawadar. Moreover, and Baloch will be supposed to have a special pass, special card. Without that, they can't. They could, can't enter. The current population of Baloch is 4.3 million. The expected population of Gawadar city when fully functional is 10 point, more than 10 million and they will be having voting rights as well. So what will happen to them? 4.3 million versus more than 10 million newcomers having voting rights. They rightly say that we will become Red Indians. Next. So the, 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 the owner of the Gawadar is getting nothing. It's CPAC, the actual beneficiary is the elite class of Pakistan. The elite, the elite class particularly means the ruling class of, 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 of Pakistan. Nothing else. Punjab. Not for common people. Punjab. Yeah, Punjab and few, the Karachi as well. And particularly, the, 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 I mean, 87% is from Punjab, 7% is from uh, Karachi, and 1.5% 1, 1, is from Khyber So all the prizes got diverted to them and to their respective areas. For example, if uh, Pemana is from Hari, Haro and the project gets allotted to her, I mean, it's thing like that. I am proud of you, my daughter. Thank you. Proud of you, my daughter. SSD, very last, last part. Special Security Division, 6 to 9 Battalion, to be raised for protection of CPEC. For protection of CPEC. And there was no mention in the budget of CPAC from where this money will be coming. And there was no mention in the federal uh, budget as well. I was astonished. This was when my second booklet was coming. I was astonished. When I was reading, visiting Balochistan, at that time I, I signed the Daily Green News. And then the notification was issued. Do you know who will be? Can you imagine? Who should be financing? The 9th Battalion Security Division of CPAC, the people of Gilgit, the people of Rishtun, the people of Balochistan, in what way? In the bills of their electricity. Imagine. And then deduction has started. Next. Salient feature, it's secrecy. No environmental impact study of any project has been done. No transparency. Absolute human rights violation, fire resolution of our premise thrown to the bin. Two resolution of the Balochistan premise thrown to the bin. All the who and cry of Gilgit Balochistan thrown to the bin. And there has now the provincial polarization have increased to its zenith. Next. The question, this is not a question for us. 
that shall I support CPAC? The question is, why I shall not oppose CPAC? We will be opposing it. Thank you very much.